Once upon a time, a long, long time ago, there was a man, a mean man, named Paro. He made the Jewish people work all day and all night to build his city. You will keep working and keep building until all of my pyramids reach the sky, and I won't even give you a snack. <laughs> all we do is work, 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 work. The Pharaoh makes us work, 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 work. We never get to play, just work, work, work. One night, the Paro had a dream that a Jewish boy, a Jewish baby boy, would grow up to help all of his Jewish friends escape from Egypt. He did not like that. One Jewish mother, Yaakovet, wanted to keep her baby very safe. She wrapped him up in a blanket so he was cozy and warm and hid him in a basket. She gently sent him floating down the river in the basket. Even though Paro was mean, he had a daughter, Pathaya, who had a very, very kind heart. She found the basket in the river and she brought the baby Moses home to live with her in the palace. No one knew Moses was Jewish, not even Moses. When Moses was all grown up, he was walking one day and found a bush on fire. The burning bush began to speak. Can you believe that? Me neither. The bush said, Moses, it's me, your God. Um, are you talking to me? Of course I'm talking to you. And guess what? You're Jewish. What? And you are going to save your people and help them escape from the mean Pharaoh. Oh, geez. I, I don't know if I can. Of course you can. All you have to do is go to Pharaoh and tell him to... Let my people go. Let my people go. No, no, no. Like this, big and strong. Let my people go. Let my people go. Getting a little warmer. Okay, okay. Stand up really tall and let her rip. Let my people go! Now you're on fire! No, actually, you are. Moses was ready. He went to Paro and said, Let my people go! But what do you think Paro said? Hmm. You did guess it. No way, Jose! Pharaoh, if you don't listen, Hashem is going to make some super yucky, icky, sticky things happen. Please, let my people go! Never! So Hashem sent super yucky, icky, sticky things to Pharaoh and the Egyptians. Things like bugs. Darkness. Ah! And even ice cubes raining from the sky. Ouch! Ow! Ouch! Oh! Ow! Ooh. Hey! Ow! So Moses went to Paro one more time. Pharaoh! Please, let my people go. You think I'm scared of some yucky, icky stickies? Nope. So Hashem decided to give the paro a taste of his own medicine and sent all of the Egyptian baby boys away. Now, Pharaoh... 
please, won't you let my people go? Paro was so very sad and so very tired. He finally said, Yes, you can go. The Jewish people were so excited to leave Egypt. They packed their bags and left so quickly <laughs> that their bread didn't even have time to rise or become soft. Instead, it was flat and crunchy. Hmm, <laughs> not bad. The Jews made it all the way to the sea and they heard a noise. It was Paro. I changed my mind. You're coming back to finish building my city. <laughs> oh no, we're trapped. What are we going to do? Just then, Hashem split open the sea. This made a path for the Jewish people to escape from Paro. Paro tried to chase him, but Hashem closed the path before Paro could catch up. No! They were free to make their new home in Israel. Every year, we celebrate Passover. Or Pesach, because of the miracle that freed all the Jewish people. The end.